Good afternoon, everybody. We are from Canadian Tourism College, and we are taking hospitality and tourism management. My name is Roy, and this is my groupmate. Uh, I'm J.D. Walsh. I'm Catrice Preston, and I'm Ashmita Chandra. And today we are here to discuss recruitment within Coast Hotels. Aki Market focuses majorly on Hong Kong. This is very similar to BC. Its westernized culture means that if you were to move here from Hong Kong, it would be an easily transition and you would be able to adjust to life here very confidently in BC. And also we're focusing a lot on BC itself because you always want to be influenced by locals. You want to feel the country that you're in. is immigrants, as I mentioned earlier, Hong Kong, the baby boomers, which are the older generation, and the local Canadian youth. Characteristics we are looking for in our immigrants from Hong Kong, we want them to be in good health, be willing to relocate, and be hardworking. As for the baby boomers, we would like them to have experience in the workplace, people skills, and ability to mentor and guide the upcoming workforce. We would like the local Canadian youth to have knowledge of the area, be educated and have clear communication skills. So, if you don't need an iPad, you won't get an iPad Air. If you don't need a job, you won't go to job fair. So this is just a just to the youth for the job fair. And we also have the newspaper ad for the senior and also we have the guerrilla marketing straight into Hong Kong. So the way that we have chosen to focus on these markets are with the immigrants. We will push more towards the social media. More than 90% of all households in Hong Kong have internet access. The online population is over 4.3 million and there are over 10,000 hotspots, Wi-Fi hotspots. Hong Kong is a tourist portal, so there are always people going in and out. And there, you can use the influence of friends and family. With the baby boomers, we look to more conventional ways of reaching them with newspapers, community seminars. Forrester Research did a uh, study in 2007 and 2008 concerning social media, and it has increased 67% uh, with the baby boomers. And they have much more online presence than they did before. With the local Canadian youth, we will have seminars in the colleges, universities, and in the high schools, as well as job fairs. <coughs> Uh, the Canadian youth are more demanding and they want it right now and with that we will be outlining the perks of the industry and the benefits of working at Coast Hotels. And here we have a chart of the top online social networks with Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google and Pinterest. And we have the age groups of everybody that is using them with the percentage. <coughs> okay, yeah, so for our guerrilla marketing plan, we're having Canada Career Day. We're going to uh, hire a jet. We're going to have uh, six employees from the Coast Hotel or second generation bilingual South Asians. They'll be jumping out of the plane. We're going to have uh, Canadian logos and the Coast Hotel logos on the parachutes. And when they land in Hong Kong, there'll be a big career festival. And, um, Big party. <laughs> Let's have a party. Uh, for our social media, for the young, we're going to be putting a YouTube video together that's really wicked fun. And uh, there'll be an aptitude test afterwards, and there'll be a chance to win a scholarship for them. And uh, for our uh, seniors, we'll be having seminars at the libraries and community centers, also doing uh, aptitude tests with them, and hopefully get the government to give them a tax break if they join on. So primarily, who's responsible for this recruitment process? Human resources is generally the uh, person who is going to increase manpower at the hotels. 
We're going to have event planners who are going to run the job fairs as an internal function. External job fairs and expos will be organized by the marketing department, but we would all be working in accordance with one another to make these events run smoothly. The recruitment opportunities would be targeted for specific roles and each recruited employee would have specific training. And each employee who is trained for the position they are suited to would be aware of the benefits of being employed with Coast Hotels. And the real people emphasis that Coast Hotels takes on with the Salvation Army events hosted, it could be used as an opportunity for recruiting not only locally, but internationally and also in older communities. Here we have a budget plan that is reaching the immigrants in Hong Kong. This is for the uh, gorilla plan that we had uh, with the one, uh, one mid size eight passenger jet for 10 days is just under half a million dollars. And then we have the gas there. This is the budget for the baby boomers. We chose to do it through newspaper ads. And you can see that we have a budget ranging from $214.30 for a four-week package or absolutely free for a 14-day 14, 14 package. And then we chose to do the job fairs for the local youth, uh, here ranging from $100 to $450. So how are we going to measure it? Is it successful or not? It is for the job fair, we are going to count the app for the how the actual resume goes through the in interview processing and for the apps in the newspaper, we are going to see how much elder or senior will go willing to get back to working forces. And also the guerrilla marketing, we are considering the, me the media attention. Consider this, we putting so much money and effort on the guerrilla marketing is Consider, I, why are we putting this so much money in it? Because TV apps is very expensive, but if we draw the attention from the media, we, we could might save a lot of money from that, and it's worthwhile. Okay, so yeah, in conclusion, uh, with our recruitment campaign specifically designed for Coast Hotels, we are guaranteeing a lot of international attention with our guerrilla marketing plan. Also here, we're hoping to have large local exposure, bringing in a lot of real people to take interviews and work at the hotel.